Hey, good day everybody. This is going to be a quick uh, player profile video on Samuel Morin as I'm going to start doing some player profiles on the Phantoms as they're unfortunately in a little layoff now. As their last game, of course, got canceled on St. Paddy's Day against Binghampton last night. And now this game, oh, postponed, excuse me, uh, for tomorrow against the Wilkes-Barre Scrim and Baby Penguins also got postponed due to COVID protocol. So hopefully we wish everyone well and hope they get healthy and pray they get healthy and well as soon as possible. But I figured this is a good time to get some player profiles in on our Lehigh Valley Phantoms. And the one I wanted to start with for this edition of the Ghostly Take, this is Pro Joe, a.k.a. Joe Boric. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I want to get to 125 by next week. Morin's a key guy to talk about because against those baby penguins earlier in the month, on the 8th of the month, uh, he looked very good in that game, and then he also looked good against the win or in the win against Hershey. Uh, in Hershey, that was a four to one victory. Just getting guys out from in front of the net. He only has two points in six games, but Moore is not a point producer. He's a guy you want to block shots, pound people, hit them, uh, check them uh, legally, but have those big trend-setting hits, and that's what this Philadelphia Flyers team needs. Like I said in my embarrassing 9 nothing loss reaction, please check that out if you want to check that out, plus some trade suggestions video. The Flyers need people that just bring some spunk, damn it. Like, they, have a, they, don't, they don't have that. Uh, in a 9 nothing loss, like uh, Jamie brought up in his great article, check it out on flyersnittygritty.com. Uh, Bray Emery fought somebody in Braden Holpe uh, when they were down. They brought something so they could bring it into the next game. There was nothing, like A.V. said, that game was a total embarrassment. There was nothing you could bring from it. Moran's a guy that can kind of bring that spunk. Andre did for a couple games, but you know his um, length of time in the NHL was not long that you could be able to keep him up for, and it's expiring already. Moran's a guy that you were high on, and all it was is about health. It's like I said about LeBurge, and I'll talk about this when I get his player profile. Some of our guys in our minors are just all about health, 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 health. As long as they're healthy, they will be money and be good guys, and he's starting to clear people out of the front of the net. He should have never been moved to forward, as Jamie Baskow and I have said all along. Um, it seems like the one benefit, though, I think he got from that might be uh, when he enters his own zone, <clears throat> I mean, he's a lot better at entering his own zone uh, offensively and being able to set guys up um, for the one assist uh, he had in the AHL this year. It was a very nice play. He dangled around people and then got it in front of the net uh, for the assist for the goal. I can't remember who that was to uh, off the top of my dome right now, but uh, he did very good on that one, and I think playing offensive forward helped him to be able to enter his own zone offensively, so that's a blessing in disguise. But that's just because that goes to show how much we need a Matt Morton type guy or a Ross Johnson type guy, like a guy that's just physical, a guy like how Gabriel's playing, who we had in an organization and let go to the San Jose Sharks, actually playing with fight and tenacity. Uh, we need somebody like that. That's the only reason we moved him to wing. He can do that at defense, and we need that at defense as well, because this team sucks at clearing people out of the front of the net at the AHL level, where at the minor league level, Derek Pouillot, uh, Samuel Moore, and Mason Millman, others, Wyatt Wiley, and others have actually done a pretty solid job with the Lehigh Valley Phantom at clearing out the front of the net. That's why this team is 7-2-2, two and two, and that's why the Flyers are in reverse and struggling mightily uh, right now. I pray for the Phantoms that they don't go into that uh, falling off of their groove after they come back like from COVID uh, like the Flyers did. But I think Morin, who's a big-body defenseman, now back on defense, got some traits that you want to see him have to be able to enter the offensive zone, kind of Chara as to be able to blast. He has a big slap shot, his big slap shot, and kind of be able to assist, to get some assist to some guys as he nurtures and grows. I think he learned that better from moving to forward, so that's a good blessing. But now back where he should be on defense, he's hitting people, pounding people in front of the net, pounding them along the boards, really doing well on the forecheck, really playing very well in his couple games back again on defense and I think he's a guy you can call up put in definitely for a Gustafson or a um, ghost and mix into this lineup or a Braun because Braun's really a seventh defenseman at this point and he will really help uh, he's a guy that I think the Flyers need at this point they need somebody that can set a trend when they're not going the right direction in game and just be able to put on that big hit that can get the team going in the right direction or that big block on a guy that most guys would not go down to block a shot on like a Chara, where Morin doesn't fear anybody, he'll go down for that block, and uh, 
always block shots. He fears no one. He'll hit people, and he'll be able to get more consistent offensively once he has time going forward, and I think that's the blessing in disguise. The only one he really got for moving to forward, which just shows how desperate the Flyers are for a forward that can bring a lot of physicality, the fact that they would ever move him to that position. But this has been a player profile on Samuel Morin, who made his debut, of course, in 2017 for a Philadelphia Flyers. Um, I believe he should get called up pretty quickly because the Flyers really need more physicality and they need to be able to bring more physicality and round and pounding in front of their net from the back end for sure because Sandheim's been very inconsistent at that this year. Myers, that's not necessarily his game. He has a bigger body, but that's not necessarily his game. That is Morin's game. And I think he should be able to do that. He also can bring some fighting to you. He led the Phantoms in penalty minute um, <clears throat> in a couple seasons back when he was still healthy in 16-17 and 15-16. So I think he's a guy that can really do it um, well and has registered a Gordy Howe hat trick in his AHL career as well. So when he's going and churning, he's a guy that's really physical, can bring a little bit of offense to you and has a good slap shot if he can get on net consistently, can definitely get more offense going. But is really going to be able to clear out the front of the net and play a physical game and set a trend with hits, which is what the Flyers really need off of the back end, and then they'll have to acquire, obviously, somebody to do that at forward because the fact that they wanted to move this man to forward just shows that there's a beaming gap, there's a huge striking light bulb gap in the forward core when it comes to someone that's just going to stick up like in a 9 nothing game yesterday uh, when they just need to have some pizzazz going in the next game and that's something Samuel Moore has done for the Phantom bar none when he's healthy and that's what he can do for the Philadelphia Flyers. This has been a player profile of Samuel Moore and I hope you all enjoyed this edition of the Ghostly Take for Professor Joe. I'm Joe Boric. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I want to get to 125 by next week. Have a great, safe, and pleasant night and enjoy all the great hockey. Again, the game on Friday is unfortunately postponed due to COVID protocols. Hopefully on Sunday back at home in Lehigh against the Baby Penguins, the Phantoms are able to drop the puck. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe.